shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. There's a, a weird little thing. Whatever it is. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Good. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. The ultimate weapon. Or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things. It's just a giant room with lots of ponies in it. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. Well, there's probably more of them. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Nope. Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair are your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. Well, does it? That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. Kenway. Of course. You must be Connor's dad, because it's Connor Kenway, isn't it? I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Yay, Boston. Boston's nice. You'll like Boston. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. Ah, haha, -ha, I'm on a ship. Might do me it might be, but it might also get you killed because there might be a mutiny or some crazy stuff. I would be surprised if some crazy stuff's about to happen. What's in here? Ah, interact. Hello. Have a moment to talk? Ah, a fellow Londoner. Good to see I'm not the only man of means aboard. Rupert Martin, pleased to meet you. Hatham Kenway. Pleasure. Seems we picked an excellent time to leave the city. Oh? You didn't hear about the murder at the Opera House? No. No, no, I didn't. I don't know anything about it. And I suspect they'll be at it for a good long while. Any word on the motive? They've ruled out robbery. So perhaps it was a business arrangement gone sour. Well, hang on. It was robbery, though. More lurid. Who knows? But I am glad to be away from it. The city grows more dangerous by the day. Mm-hmm. That's why it's a cool city. And actually, I still maintain, in the future, I'd love, and I know a lot of people would love to see a Victorian London Assassin's Creed, just because it was a horrible place. And it would have been brilliant. I'll show you some gambling games later. I'm not going to do it now, because good lord. They're, uh, oh, I can't get out that way. They're pretty special. Require a lot of thinking. What are you even playing? No, you're playing. You're playing checkers, and someone over there playing something else. And, oh god. Yeah, it's just. Oh, they're they're tricky. The computer beat me a few times in uh, Montreal. Do, do, do. Hello. And then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. No, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. 
You might want to head back to your quarters. Oh, here we go. Top deck's no place for tender Parnell. Who are you calling a tender Parnell? And yet here you are. Oh, snap, son. Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. Ah, come on, then. Come on, matey. Oh, you bastard. Listen to this, Hector. Thinks he can swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle. Please, fellas, <laughs> call this off. If the captain sees the us... hell with the captain. Look, once this tutorial's over, I'll kick your ass, cos I know what to bloody do. Come on, then. Yeah! Take that, you bastard. We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. Why is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No, but you should be. I'm going to take both of you on. Take that, you little shit. Do you yield? Never! <clears throat> oh, ow, you little bastard. Oh, like we've got a knife off? now, have we? Oh, come on, then. <laughs> Ouch. Disarmage time. I could stab you, but I don't think that would be allowed. What's the meaning of this? Captain! Explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. These fought. We were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. Lol! Yeah, lol means lays. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. In the old days. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. <laughs> I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. You're going to get yourself kicked off the ship if you keep saying that. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, do you? Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Oh, I bet they do. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. OK. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. He has a point. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. <laughs> Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. <laughs> Are we understood? You better be. Excellent. You little shit. <laughs> Good day. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Return to your cabin to end the day. Okay, in we go. Hello, cook. No, you're not the cook, you're the surgeon. Sorry, I thought you were prepping something on the table. It turns out you were prepping a human. Is this my cabin? Is this my cabin? Yes, it is. I'm looking at my magical little key. It's quite nice, it is. My voice is going a bit weird. So, it's up on... Okay, it's up on that coast. Somewhere. I don't wish to point out, but you are writing over notes in your book. But that's okay. Am I about to get beaten up? That is ominous music. I'm worried. I'm worried there's a mutiny coming. Ha ha. Atlantic Ocean, day 28. I'm looking at my coin thing again. Hello. Mr. Kenway. What's up? Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'll get me knives out then. 
I best get to work. Don't just put it in the book and leave it. What if it gets lost? Silly man. Right, I'm going to investigate the crew. He's got our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that you should feast on lamb. He's feasting on lamb, is he? What cheeky yeah. shit. Make like you're working. Hello. I hear you're not working. You there. I have some questions for you. That's nice. But I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. All right, I'll try the cook or the doctor. You're not talking like this at all, but never mind. The cook or the doctor. It's a very dark in here. I think you need some lights. Hello, Mr. Cook. Hello, cook. I see you've got a goat. I oh, like goats. Won't be serving for another couple of hours. Some biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. Actually, I've come with a question. What's that? Have any of the men been acting strange recently? <coughs> Said anything that struck you as out of the ordinary? <coughs> the boys cry about the rations as if there's anything I can do about it. But beyond that, I ain't heard much. My advice, go find James. His ears are always open. Which one's James? The... And where might I find him? Right behind you, actually. He's the one sitting on the barrel. Oh, OK. Well, shouldn't you have just turned around and said, Oi, James, can I, can I pet these? There's something amazing in this game. I can't, because they're, they're out of reach. There's three amazing they've added, along with all the crazy animations they've added for, like, the NPCs and that. They've added the ability to pet animals. I will show you as the Are game goes on. Hi. Hello, James. Nathan Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. All right. Follow me. Okay, James. So, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Okay. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk them down, but there's only so much one man can do. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the information. Yes, thank you, James. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Well, I will spare you from the mass murdering that may happen. Look for clues at the stern. OK. Up we go. Hello. Evening, sir. Are you behaving yourself? How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. Good. Carry on, then. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Say care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. Oh, does it? What was that? Oh, Lord. Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? Hmm. That's a bit naughty. What's going on? Oh, good God. Sorry, I didn't mean to run up your wheel. <laughs> That's what she said. Whee! God, I'm already, like, disgracing myself by making terrible... Hello. Make like you're working. Hello. You behaving yourself? You look like you are. Let's go this way then. You're not second thoughts, are you? He's got a rash again. Claims we're not provisioned for luxury. Here got a fish on. Oh, hello. There's a clue. Someone needs Analyze the clue. The clue is a white powder. Hmm. It could be could be sugar or flour or something or it could be 
clue is for a pirate. When the when it floats out of the barrel and leaves white powder. I don't sodding know. Hmm. Most curious. I don't know how these things work. It's not my cabin. Oh god, my cabin, I've lost it. Is it here? I just can't walk properly because I'm incapable. I'm going to write some more in my book that I already seem to have filled out because every page is full. That seems to be a thing in most games. Like, they either write in an empty book or a full book. Like, no one actually writes on a page in any game. That's something I would challenge a dev to do, is to actually physically have a character interact with the page and write it. Because I never see it. Ever. So four days later, soddles happened, it looks like. It's very quiet. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. That's what I said. That's what I said. I sort of. of I just didn't make it very clear. Ship sighted off! Oh, She's bugger. Ready to fire! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! A uh, warning shot. Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead. Oh, bring it on then, bitches. Make ready to fight. I want you below decks. Why? Piss off. Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin, or do I need to have you escorted? God damn it. Secure the hatch! So you're going to trap us here? Hey, Tim. Hello, Mills. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. It doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Oh, shit. Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Hello, Templars. Ah. So that's what this is about. It's fighting time. And I will see that you are treated with honour. I don't think so. If you wish to treat me with honour, give me a sword. I'm not going to get a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? Yes. Oh, you are going to give me a sword. Well, I'll just stab you then. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay, fine. Bring it on. This is the sword fighting tutorial. I'm going to own your face. I like this. I like this tutorial sequence. It's certainly better than the last ones. Oh, God. Come on, then. Yeah! You little shit. Oh, I can't actually... Oh, you need to be shot. A f uh, you need to be uh, stabbed a few times. I see. Well, take this, you little scum of the earth. Come on, die. Here we go. That's you dead. Hello. There seems to be a problem. I told you to stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Me. Then they can have you. Oh, you such a knob. They'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? Oh, sodding hell. It's our only chance. I won't do it. <sighs> then I will. All right. All right. Oh, God. Can't we just take on the ship? Or is that the point? Oh my god. Later that day. That is a little bit crazy. 
I'm not quite sure this was a wise choice to do. Um, uh, half, half, half van. We need those Hatfield. I can't remember your name. It was I a posh English one. I'll fix your sail oh God, you. I'm going to climb up the thing, am I? I'm going to climb up the rigging. Oh dear, dear God in Himmel. Oh my God, there's a wave. Oh, we're going to die. We're all going to die. Run. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is this is all going to end in tears. Oh, I can't get up there. Oh, I can. I just had a moment of being a spaz. Well, consider I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing pretty well. There we go. Good job, everyone. Oh, God. Another one. Uh, oh, dear Lord. Jump, 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 jump. Go, 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 go. Get the rig and go. There we go. It's all secure now. No props. We need more speed. Loose the sails. Paint them. You take the foremast. James. To the mainmast with you! Aye, aye. Loosen the sails? Well, I guess I'm climbing them. Up we go. Up we go. Come on. Jump. Oh, dear. Dear God, are you all right there? Oh, God. This is a little bit risky. Come on. That's one down. Oh, I've done... No, I've done one side. Oh, shit. Oh, shittington shit. Um, oh, dear. Oh, God, is that James? James! Oh, God. Come on, James. I'm coming, James. I'm coming. Hold on, man. I've got you. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. You're a good man. That ship is potentially fucked. Yep, bye! We just need to survive now and we'll be fine. Oh my god, we got through it. Like, fairly intact. The ship looks okay. Good god. Well done, us. I thought that man was about to throw up overboard, but no. He was just looking over the side. That would be lovely to add in. A little bit of vomiting. What are those? Oh, are those... Are those... Oh, they're sea biscuits, aren't they? Those nasty little things. Seagulls. Seagulls near land. Yeah. Oh god, everyone seems a little bit down in the dumps. You alright everyone? No, you all sound a bit like you're you're not very well, are you? No, I can't get up there. I am actually going this way. God, I'm terrible with directions in the ship. Oh, I see there's two there's two entrances and of course I get the wrong sodding one. Hello. Make ready for our arrival, men. Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. If you watched Asterix as a kid, you would have known that as well. The seagulls. They mean land. Is this the foremast? No. Oh no, it is. I've just gone up the wrong side. Come on, up we go. That's a good man. Jump. Jumpy, jumpy. Up we go, up we go, up we go. Oh, look, there's land. And you didn't believe me. Oh, we have to go higher. Higher and higher. 
Come on. God, you would not get me doing this ever, IRL. No, no, no. No, no, no. 